persistence. Who wants to achieve what he's looking for? If anyone wants to achieve what he's looking for, he needs to be persistent. He needs to have commitment. He needs to really believe what we want. What he wants, sorry. He definitely needs to believe that that thing that he is aim for, he really decides from the heart. And when somebody decides something from the heart, it will be persistent. And this persistence, it takes the person to a commitment, to a high level of commitment. So that person is highly like a going to achieve what they have. But it needs to be persistent. Luke 18, 1 to 8. He gives us a good example. He gives us an example of a powerless person, a widow. Persist in nagging a corrupt, powerful person, the judge to do justice to her. But the guys did not hear her. But he's just saying, but this widow, I want them to be off. But still the widow, he keep up. Now I'm going to read here a little bit. He says this. I'm going to read something that's been read here. This Bible assumes that John the Baptist teach that Holding a position of power and leadership obligates you to work justly. It definitely it does. But then, some people don't really keep that justice on mind. Some people just keep that justice out of what they really need to do. And they just stay off of what they really need to do. And still, the person that is persistent, they not looking at those things. The person that is persistent, they just keep going, requesting what they want. They not really looking at anything else, but they concentrate on it. So persistence take you places. Now, um, especially on behalf of the poor and weak, the person need to do. Justice. That is what someone in charge and authority needs to do. Now, but Jesus focuses the power of a different point. The Lord just, just show us something. That we are to pray always and not to lose heart. Luke 18.1 the Lord just identifies the hearer. Hear us with the woman and the prayer to the person. To the which person? To God Himself. We need to pray to our Father in heaven. With the corrupt judge and a strange combination happening here. Look at this. Assuming that Jesus doesn't mean that God is corrupt. No, no. He doesn't. The Lord is not corrupt actually. He just. He just. The point must be that if persistence pays off with a corrupt human of a limited power, how much more will pay off with a judge God with an infinite power? Can you imagine a God with an infinite power? God with an infinite power. Listen to me very well. A God with an infinite power. Ah, they will do justice. But we have to be persistent. We have to have commitment on what we want. Now, having a commitment on what we want it definitely, definitely is a cure we want. We secure what we are looking for. So the purpose of this parable is to secure thy faith of the Christians. 
those who believe in Jesus Christ, those who hold in position before the Lord. And do not let yourself to be down by a corrupt, just person, by a corrupt leader, by someone that denies you what you want. No, no. Be persistent. And believe in the Lord give you the victory if you've been faithful to Him. So, persistence. Don't give up. Just keep going in what you are looking for in justice. Within the Lord God, our Savior, parameter. Keep it in it and you will see a victory. So, the Bible teaches us that the civil authority served by God, by God's authorization, whether they acknowledge it or not, so there is hope that even in the midst of systematic injustice, justice must be done. So a Christian leader job is to work forward that hope all the time. So that's what we need to do. Work forward with hope all the time. And I encourage you to do. To do have persistence. Don't give up. Believe in Jesus. Believe in the Lord. He will give you the victory. Be faithful to Him. Don't give up. Be faithful to the promise of the Lord. And the Lord will glorify His name to you. On your faith. Look at thing one day. Be persistent. Persistence is what we need. Be faithful. Don't give up. Are you sick? Pray to the Lord. The Lord will give you healing. Are you lost heart? The Lord will give you back to you. The encouragement and the faith you need. The Lord will lift, will lift you up again to the mountain top. But have faith. Faith and that He will do justice with you. Just remain in your position. And don't give up. Don't give up. So, only God can bring about justice in a correct environment. And that's why we plead to the Lord. Come closer to Jesus Christ. Come and drink the water that He offers to you. You will never repent yourself. You will always want to more and more because when you are persistent in faith with the Lord, believing His promises, you will walk from victory to victory. But you don't know what I'm talking about, about Jesus Christ? Well, I'll tell you. All you need to do is just accept Jesus Christ in your heart. Say to the Lord, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive my sins. Lord, allow my name to be in the book of life. And allow me to hold the presence and the promise of the Holy Spirit so I can learn, so I can be with you, Lord. So I can be living in justice. So I can be so by you, by your Holy Spirit. Do that. Get closer to the Lord. Accept the agreement with Him. And be persistent in thy faith. In the faith of the Lord. That will give you happiness and joy. Then you will no longer be saying that you live in a corrupt world. In a corrupt world. Why? Because you will no longer see that walking in victory, victory, from victory to victory. All you need is Jesus Christ. And He will teach you the way. Because He is the way. Jesus Christ is the way of the life. And no one comes to the Lord God. But just turn it to Him. So I said Him. And be persistent. Do not give up. And read Luke 18, 1 8. You will see the story of this powerful lady. A powerful person. Fighting with it and justice leader. But the Lord has given a victory. So He will give it to you too. God bless you. The Lord keep you. Goodbye.